This question is really about the role of the manager and particularly um, with uh, touring all the various mm. hats uh, when the full King Crimson uh, is touring. Um, are you a babysitter, a, a healthcare person? Uh, well, uh, I'd never been a manager of a live band before this King Crimson. It's not a role that I wanted. It's not a role I would recommend to anyone. <laughs> I've, I've told, How did it come about, I, David? So I've been Robert's business partner ever since 1992. Okay. And King Crimson, New King Crimson was out touring. It had been touring in 2014. At the beginning of 2015, I became aware that there were certain anomalies in the way that the band was being handled, live band was being handled. So I went to see Robert at his home, sat in his kitchen that you've now all seen on the videos. And I said to Robert, there are certain anomalies with the, like, the band that you need to address, assuming that he would pick up the phone to the manager and point out these things and suggest he, meant that he cured them. And Robert picked up the phone and said, hello, David has told me that there are some problems with the live band. David is now the manager. <laughs> this did not give me the chance to duck and suggest that this was not a job that I wanted. And being a manager is a cross between being an accountant and a social worker. And I will point out that if you do the accountancy well, the social working is much easier. Um, the condition when I took it on was that we kept the same tour manager because I said, I don't want to start from scratch. They'd had a tour manager who'd been doing that role who was very good at it. So the day-to-day the -day logistics are handled by a tour manager. Okay. So mostly your role is larger than that to foresee and plan around that. But yes, it's, it's, it's social working and accountancy. <laughs> really, that's... <laughs> Thank you. I've looked on management as having three primary functions. The first is business management. In this, David is superb. There have been other managers in my life. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. So, a very simple example. If you're doing a three-month tour, your manager needs a power of attorney so that your services, bills, your water, electricity, rent, mortgage, whatever, can be paid while you're on the road. This means you really have to be able to trust your manager. So that was my, that is still my primary interest in management, that I can put my attention on music knowing that my business affairs are being protected. Secondly, there is an area of management which recommends to the artist the people they should be working with, the other artists, the producers, the engineers. In other words, they're part of the creative life of the artist. I've never needed that. I'm fine without the advice. The third area of management is called nose wiping and diaper changing, <laughs> which I've also seen happen. And the context in where I saw it happen primarily was a form of control over a very famous artist you will know, so that they became utterly unable to function in their life in a very basic way. So of those three available areas, the only one primarily for me is the first. However, David is very different. David can also give me creative insights and advice into how, what, and why, because he's the first manager I've worked with that is himself an artist. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you.